Let's check out what FM related controls we have in Apparilla. I load the initialize preset. Now you will notice in my oscilloscope overlay that this doesn't look like a pure sine wave and the FM engine is only using sine waves. The reason for this is under the form section, there's form and shifting on. So let's turn that off. And now we get a pure sine wave tone. Let's also go to the envelope section and set the sustain to full. So the volume is consistent. All right, I like that. I'm also going to save this as my customized initial preset. All right, now let's switch back to the synth section and understand the FM synth engine. What we have here is a pair of sine wave operators being modulated by another pair of hidden sine waves. Increasing the FM slider will increase the amount of this modulation, which is referred to as modulation index. And that's what it sounds like. So this audio rate modulation of the sine wave carrier is what is typically referred to as FM synthesis. With the ratio slider, we can change the frequency relationship between the modulator and the carrier, the carrier being the operator we are listening to. When I set this to approximately 2, the hidden sine wave modulator is now an octave above the carrier. Now we get two pairs of these operators. To hear the second pair, I will have to set the op balance to operator 2. And now operator 1's FM doesn't lead to audible change. But if I do the same on this FM slider, we hear operator 2 being modulated by another hidden sine wave operator. We can change the pitch relationship between this operator and its modulator, just like for operator 1. We can also hear both of these pairs simultaneously with the op balance set in the middle. Not showing any change in operator 1 as its modulation index is down. Now we hear it. And that is the foundation of sound design on the synth. Pretty simple, right? Okay, next we'll explore the ratio options and algorithms in more detail.